Welcome back to another video here at J Daddy's Garage. Today's video is a continuation of the primer process that I'm doing on the fenders, hood, and various panels for the 68 Mustang known as Jade. If you like videos like this, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to see more. So in the last video, I prepped these panels and I sprayed them with epoxy. Now I was covering up areas that I'd done some repair work to, and that is all done. It's been a few days, so I decided to go ahead and scuff all of these panels again with the red scotch bright. I'm going to wipe them down again with wax and grease remover so that they're ready to go for the 2K primer. So let me finish that part and we'll start mixing primer. All right, everything is wiped down, ready to go. I just need to mix up the primer and get ready to spray it on. Looking forward to seeing these in primer gray instead of black at this point. Now I've been using this JP202, that is my go-to uh, 2K primer surfacer that I'm using. It also uses the um, JH302 hardener. Now this is a high temperature. Unfortunately I'm not in a high temperature environment at the moment, but it's still going to work. Uh, just take it a little bit longer. And of course I'm using my PPS cups as I mentioned before. and I'm going to mix up at least one of these because I want to get a lot of material on um, and if I have to I'll I may mix up one see how it goes and then if I need to I'll come back in and mix up the second one some product information it points out that you should do two to four coats and the gun setup is HVLP um, and they're saying 10 psi at the air cap and then 40, uh, conventional 40 to, 50, 40 to 50 PSI at the air gun. Also, your uh, tip should be a 1.6 to 1.8 millimeter. So I've been using that uh, Black Widow that I bought. And this is a 1.7, so that's perfect. And then, uh, you know, we'll mix it up, get it sprayed on. And what else is there? Uh, you can reduce this with, uh, looks like JH302, oh, I'm sorry, wait a minute, no, that's the hardener, uh, you can reduce with JR, is there a variation of it, yeah, JR505, reducer, or 506, or 507, so, I actually have some 507, so I may add just a little bit of reducer, so it flows better. Oh, and I should point out that it is also mixed 4 to 1 for the ratio, base to hardener, and then 4 to 1 to 1 with the reducer. So, put a respirator on. Here's one thing that I... I find a little, I don't know, difficult with these cups. It says four to one to one, right? So here is your first indicator for four to one to one. If you do that, that leaves this much space in the cup that you're not using. So what I try to do, if I look at it from the six on the cup to the 12, well, if I do four to one, then the math says, you know, it's 12 to what, 15? Because that would be three. Yeah, so that would be about 15. So if I come up and I, I just do some 
some math variations, right? So if I did 16 ounces, I'd be up here, and then it'd be another 4 ounces, which would be 20, and then another 4 ounces, which should put me right about at the top of the cup. So while this is helpful, I have to envision it in different ways so that I get full use out of this cup. So 16 to 20 is 4 to 1, and then the reducer up to 1, I can go. So that's what I'm going to do. I should point out that I always store the gun with lacquer thinner in it. Mask.
So in the previous segment, I had left off with the panels in primer. And everything's looking great. I do have some issues that I'll have to deal with. Uh, I feel like those are relatively minor, but things are, are smooth, you know. Um, I do have to work on this rock guard. I did find there's some pinholes. I don't know if you can see those or not. That's just going to take a little filler before the next round of primer. The rear valance panel turned out really nice. You know, I put filler on that and sanded it. So that's looking great. The front valance... I did notice I'm a little short on filler here. Some pinholes and stuff, which is, you know, expected because you can't see that stuff half the time until you get filler on. The other thing I have to deal with is this fender. As I was looking it over, and I've talked about this before, you know, I have these holes for the emblems and these holes which are oversized. I don't know why they made those so big. Or, you know, somebody modified it, obviously. So I'm probably going to address this in a future video. Take care of these holes and then add these holes to the opposite fender so that it's taken care of. I, I, I don't know why I didn't take care of that before, but that's something that needs to be addressed. Uh, in the back of the shop, in the paint booth area, I have um, the, the hood. So that's good shape. The only thing I have to do on that is sand the bottom and get some primer on it so it matches the color. And then I'll have to, you know, block sand it. But I, this is going to turn out great because, you know, it's a new hood, so it should be. As far as the car goes, and this will probably be the next segment, I need to get it block sanded and get it ready for the next round. Now, what I want to do is block sand it and then take care of all of the seams so as you can see I started doing a little work here uh, on this section and so I realized that the trim pieces actually cover this so there's not real no real value there uh, one of the issues I do need to deal with is up here in this corner the trim piece doesn't fit right because this was a vinyl roof car so that they didn't go into as much detail to smooth these areas out so if I put the trim in there's a gap here. I'll need to address that. Uh, but I'll seam seal, you know, all of these overlaps where the quarter and the rocker panel meet. Also, uh, any areas of overlap like here at the quarter, um, you know, these seams right here, everything's going to get a coat of seam seal or, a, you know, seam sealer put on it and that'll make it look much better. So that's another step that I need to do and I'm looking forward to getting this all block sanded ready to go. Again, there's going to be you know seam sealer up here in these various areas. There are little things that just need to be done prior to the final round of primer. Uh, you can see there's some bare spots that I'll address those. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to do that because you can put self-etch on small areas. It won't hurt anything. As long as you had epoxy first, you can put self-etch on top. So that may be what I do. Uh, the doors themselves are going to stay on the vehicle. Uh, I mean the hinges. I'm not taking those off of the A-pillar. I may remove the doors just to get them prepped, but the hinges are staying right where they're at. So at this point, what I want to do is do some block sanding. And I may work on, you know, get the hood uh, taken care of and then the valance panels so anyway just giving you a heads up on this next segment and we'll go on from there okay the plan again is to do some block sanding you know just to verify everything's good on this hood so I'm using some dry guide coat this happens to be Merca brand there are other products out there and I'm also going to be using uh, some 320 sandpaper 320. Uh, you could use 400. I mean, you may want to use, depending on your car, 180. You know, if you have some issues you want to really see quick, um, you could use 180. Uh, just be cautious with that. You don't want to dig in and go crazy with it and take off all of your primer. But hopefully, with the Merca dry coat or uh, guide coat, you can see you know those transitions. 
Being this is a new hood, I don't expect there to be many problems. So that's why I'm going to use the 320. Also, I'm going to be using, you know, my Durablock. You know, two different versions of that. You know, the round one can get in the curved areas and stuff like that. And then I've got this little taco pad. And I don't have 320 to use, but I have some 400. So, you know, be, be just be cautious. Uh, you don't want to dig in and break through any areas. So this is just kind of a, a tune-up, let's say, for the, uh, the hood. I want to make sure everything is, is good to go. And I will just prep one side and show you how that goes. So if I take, open this up, be careful you don't drop that pad, get it on the floor or something. You can see it's got kind of a foamy look to it. And you're going to turn this upside down, get some powder on. And then the idea is you just coat the whole panel. Now again, I'm just going to do one side at a time. And I'll point out, I've had this this particular pad for quite some time. So the streaking that you're seeing is because it may have curled up a little bit on the edges. You know, new one's not gonna do that. I'm gonna try to press down and see if that changes anything. So there, it, it did help to press that down. And this is only one I did not add any more powder to this, so. Maybe not the prettiest pattern, but at least you can see what it does. Now I would recommend, I'm not gonna put it on just yet, I would recommend wearing a mask, you know, cause you don't wanna breathe this stuff. So I'm gonna get a mask on and then I'm gonna start working this down. So a couple other things, I'll point this out. This 3M mask that I'm using, these are my these are old paint filters, right? So I'm not worried about them stopping chemical fumes or vapors. I'm more worried about them just stopping dust. So I can just I swap these out. I have new ones for painting that I keep in a bag, and then I put on these whenever I want to do stuff like this. Also, make sure your hands are clean. You know, a lot of times you'll see me wearing gloves. Uh, just make sure there's nothing on your hands that can get into this. Also point out, I'm not digging into this. I'm being very gentle, just letting the paper do the work. Okay, so that's just a little bit of time there. I'm gonna wipe this off. And what I wanna show you is what you're you know, kinda of aiming for. So let me show you a close up. Hopefully this is gonna show up, but I don't know if you can see, you know, here's, here's your texture. And you can see the little, let's say, if you were to look at it like, you know, bumpy skin or something, you can see different colors. And as you come over here, that's all smooth. That's what you want to see. So there you can see more of the, I don't know, texture, you know? So I'm going to go over this panel. And you can, there, like there's a little, right there's a flaw that is showing up. And that has to be sanded out. So I know it's really hard to see that, but 
it's almost like there was a, a low point in the in the primer so I'll have to address that but just little details like that are gonna make your paint job so much better so I'm gonna go over this some more and we'll see how it looks so let me point out a few things you can see you know there's still color and texture but you can also see this back edge and that could be where you, you can get in, in trouble pretty quick if you try to run the paper off of the taper you know like catch the edge and remove all that material I'm still going to do more on this but I'm just showing you that here you can see more texture at least I hope you can and then the harder parts you know are these kind of corners where it transitions you know kind of rolls down for that vent or the, you know the grill that goes in there um, these edges as well things are looking good you know it's actually really nice which it should you know be nice uh, up front here you can see shadows and that's just manufacturing you know and then this is why you take your time when you block sand this stuff so that you eliminate some of these areas now would this show up you know on a normal paint job maybe maybe not but while I'm here you know I'll gently go over that and make sure those are smooth as well uh, the whole thing is looking pretty good right now which it, again it should because it is a brand new hood but just some observations for you well I think I have the driver's side ready to go I don't see I, I sanded out that little imperfection that was back here the edges look good nice transitions I did break through in a couple of spots on the edge which you know that happens but I also found there's a little bit of a shallow area right here you know between these two marks so I can't dig that out I don't want to go any further little breakthrough there otherwise everything else looks perfect I have no complaints whatsoever at this point and you know obviously I'll have to come back over these with some more primer I don't know if I need to do the whole you know the whole panel just yet uh, because it feels nice so I may end up just kind of blending over this section just to cover up these dark spots and then resanding that later but you know when people ask why does it take so long or why is it so expensive to do a paint job just this part here um, I mean I was probably working on it maybe I don't know half an hour 45 minutes tops but multiply that times the entire car and then look at the fact that this is a really simple brand new hood whereas you know this gets very complicated with transitions and everything like that so I think it's going to come on nicely I'm going to get the other side done and then we'll see what happens from there now I know the light kind of washes out the primer but I want to show you a couple of things um, on this side on the passenger side you see these two dark spots that is actually a high spot there is a just a, a hint I know it's hard to see this just a hint of uh, material showing right there so I could maybe get this out but I don't know that I need to um, I'm probably gonna I'm, I will be adding some more primer anyway but I just want to show you that because you know when you're sanding this stuff you just kind of go at it and, and don't push I mean don't push down on it very hard let the sandpaper do the work for you but you should or if, or if you have any problems they'll show up looking like that otherwise the edges look good there's a little you know, a little bit of a flaw right there and that was probably in the epoxy that's why it's dark so it popped up a couple little breakthroughs on the edge here again very minor but the rest of it is looking good uh, some breakthroughs just maybe not even a breakthrough that might just be powder yeah that's powder never mind so the hood looks good and I'm gonna move on to do you know the other panels but I'm pretty happy with how that looks I think that'll be the end of this video you know I sprayed the primer on the panels uh, I let it cure for a period of time you know it's been a couple weeks 
And then, you know, the block sanding, I think the hood looks great, but I have these other panels to address. And I think there will be another video coming out, hopefully soon, I can do one on the emblems for the fenders. I do have issues with those, as I mentioned, or maybe if I didn't, but anyway, I have issues with the holes on the passenger side fender. I need to address those and keep moving forward. Um, but that, that'll be it for this video. So hopefully you got some information out of this video that can help you with your project. I do point out that I have longer videos on Patreon. And so I want to give a shout out again to my patrons that are supporting me on this channel. You know, they get to see longer videos with more details and bonus footage and stuff like that. If you're interested in becoming a patron, there are links in the description below. So you see the title written up for what's going on in this video. If you go further down, there is a link for the patrons. And, you know, any help is appreciated. Um, I look forward to having more people on board and creating a, a larger, let's say, revenue stream so that I can keep making these videos. But again, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And until next time, take care of yourselves. See ya. Hey gang, welcome back to Joe Daddy's Garage. Today's video is a continuation of Jade, the 68 Mustang, and the paint process or the primer process that I'm using. All right, so in the last video, when I get to that point, so let me finish that, and then we'll start mixing. Did I get the first part? Double check.